Satish Disa from Wagtails Imprints. Tell us, tell us all about it and your work. So we see ourselves as guardians of childhood, and we look and see, look at our children, and we say if they can spend the first seven years of their lives being children. Hmm. So we look to create a space where they can actually be that. How you have a, you know, for tiger like a tiger reserve. So we have a sanctuary of childhood, and we create it as a physical space, but also as a space where you know. Uh, how to use different things like whether it is a book, whether it is posters, whether it is uh, card games and music, uh, movement, art, craft. So we look to see how we can engage with children and the imagination. Wagtails Imprints is not a publishing uh, house. Firm house in the in the traditional yeah. sense of it, but we look at publishing as in making our stories and work public, making it accessible to children through various mediums, whether it is you know okay. through oral storytelling. Or two posters, or a coloring book, or even like a like a bed linen. So okay. we are working on a story carpet right now, and we have an intern from NID working with us. Okay. From NID Kurukshetra, uh, so we have the, this uh, Alex interning with us. And okay. We are designing a, a mat together. A mat. A story mat. I see. Hi. This is also the the posters are called pos poster positive posters, and the whole thought is like you know it should be art for the walls of uh, children children's rooms because now we have Marvel and we have a kind of uh, Walt Disney art going on to walls and that is what also yeah. you know kind of defines our aesthetic sense. So we want to also define and saying you know it has to be beautiful doesn't it just have to be that open it up. But these are therapeutic stories that I've written, which you know it works with children who are having maybe you know uh, fear of the dark. How can they resolve that through a story? So using the power of stories to work with children and their imagination. That is our work. We have this book. Okay. It's a giraffe. It's about a giraffe who is not very socially socially forward like okay. many of us. Okay. But you know I've pushed into social situations. Right. So it's a simple story of hide and seek. Where the other animals give the giraffe its time, and the giraffe takes its time to come and play ringa ringa roses. It's as simple as that. So this morning you were presenting two children. This morning uh, we just uh, told the stories. We made some uh, giraffes. Okay. And we hid the giraffes in the books. Okay. Over the next few days we are going to be hiding giraffes all over the place, and children will have to go and find where's the giraffe. I will say, and they have to go and search for them, and then they can keep the giraffes. We are also going to be doing a session tomorrow, a immersive session. So lots of fun. There's going to be art and craft happening here, not 24 hours, but from 10 o'clock till 8 o'clock. And yeah, 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 in this. And it's free. We're not charging anybody. What drives you, Sanjay? Satish. Satish. What drives me is just that I want to. I enjoy being a child, and I think with the company of children, it's like almost like I have license to be a child. So I enjoy that, and I feel most uh, my truest self. When I am like you know being with children or being a child, my truest self, I know nobody judging me. I can be silly. I can just yeah. So the focus would be more on art than on reading or a mix of both. No, or so I don't look at it as uh, either or. Focus is on the child and the imagination. Okay. And the entry point can be multiple. It can be art, craft, reading, dance, I see. music, I see. stories. How do the kids take to it? Children love things which are not uh, defined because we are the ones who are kind of you know compartmentalizing things and saying art is different from craft and no, but for them it's all one kind of one unified okay. experience. So when we saying imprints, very clearly we are looking and saying is how can we leave an imprint on the child? So it is not about a book, it's, or you know about it's not a printing yeah. kind of thing, not a book or a poster. It's about leaving an imprint on the child. So our work is about what is the effect on the child and how it can start as a stimulus. So and that is what the children just take it and it works on them in very uh, beautiful ways which we cannot say that we know maybe yeah. spiritual maybe you know emotional we cannot say that you know we know how it works we are not that smart I feel tell us about your place in Aldona how old is it and is it so a physical space where people a, can it's my house right okay. now but we are looking for a place where you know we can have a kind of a huge uh, house maybe you know three four rooms and a huge front yard backyard so right now we are working from my house and we every alternate friday we open it up and we call it the sanctuary of childhood what time it's from 4 to 6 okay and we invite uh, people from all ages children of all ages that's <laughs> what we call it we say come 
you know, just free yourself without agenda. Yeah. The only agenda is to make a mess. Because people, when they start doing craft and art, they want to make something. Yeah. And what happens, they stop themselves because they're saying they want to be perfect or they want to make something specific. So yeah. we say the only agenda is to make a mess and just have fun. So there are people who are coming, they're doing coloring, they're doing cutting, they are, really the house is a big mess after that. But uh, I have some good support of my wife and also we have people coming over to help us to clean up. So I think that is the blessing of, uh, you of think, my community and of God. Yeah. You think Goa could be a creative space? Goa is a creative space. Also because it is very connected, it's still connected to nature. The cities have become commercially creative, I would say, because, you know, if you see Bollywood or you see I whatever, see. there is no space for the true sense of creative. Creativity is not something which, you know, is top down. We are born with it. We are born with imagination, but somehow we are conditioned and education kind of takes it away from us and makes it a specialization. But everybody is a storyteller. Everybody is creative. And in Goa, we are so connected to nature because it is so accessible. I think yeah. we are more creative because of that. Last given a chance, everybody is actually, you know, happy to be uh, a child. Last question, how do people contact you? Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, numbers, anything you can Telepathy, share? Telepathy, but it doesn't work to many people. They don't have that data plan. Okay. But uh, you can uh, contact me on uh, Instagram. It's W-A-G-T-A-L-E-S. Tales. Tales, but the story tales, not the yes. dog tales. Yeah. Instagram. So the, the name we came up with because when we started off, I was telling them writing stories and telling them. I'm a writer, advertising writer, telling stories to my children. I said stories that make you happy, therefore whack tales. But now it has expanded. As I've become wiser, even... It found new meanings. Yeah, it found new meanings. Yeah. Thank you so much, Satish. All Thank the very you best. so much, Frederick.